Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Really good point. facility to put cranes on to access it and, and actually physically build it. Because if you remember back a few weeks ago, it was only a few weeks ago, there was a format system there, and that format system wasn't just an arrow thing, it came right out onto most of the coffer dam. Where do we see, like, so obviously there's loads of scaffolding. Is that one company or do this? Uh, well, well, that wasn't scaffolding that we really saw, that was form work. Right. Uh, so, you saw the pictures that Malcolm had. Had, had. I think there was one picture there that looked like height form work and height slope. Uh, that held up with a form work system underneath it. Yeah, but feel like when you were driving, like, if you drive along to the riverside, there's loads of scaffolding and other things. So, now that I've put it the right way around, <laughs> we'll go, thanks Jenny. We'll have another look at the coffer dam. So this will all be water again and you can see the wall there actually. So I believe that's where it will become water again. But yeah, it's probably an okay view. Um, wow. So until that steel went in, which would only go in after all the concrete was constructed, that wall had to be fully supported. So that whole wall wanted to fall out until we put in that steel beam. So that false work and form work that was underneath, the form work that was supporting the false work, false work in other words for shuttering if you like, the concrete shuttering, that was holding that all out. So as you imagine, that full extent of concrete floor slab that you see out there if you like, that's temporary. And the false work was all the way out to there, supporting it. It had a fair old depth to it, but it wasn't really a scaffold. You can see the amazing view down here. So where I'm standing will be water apparently. Um, and again trying not to drop the phone. It will be rather nice going to stand or go inside rather the, the museum. But yeah, that, that sloping wall is just unbelievable. Um, it's an incredibly complex uh, building. Apparently, Arik, who are the engineers behind it, who were involved with building the Sydney Harbour, si sorry, Sydney Opera House rather. They um, found this construction incredibly complicated as well. Uh, and here is the panelling. Woo! It's actually on, uh, I guess, a lorry. Yeah. Which again, Gillian's in depth construction analysis. Um, but yeah, you can see the panels. So it's kind of like sort of hard stone. Um, but they look really impressive when they're actually on the facade. The wall is amazing, Sandra, thank you. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, so here's the, the tunnel section we're coming up to. Um, wow. It's nice. I don't know how far I'm, I'm kind of testing the boundaries here by walking up to things and waiting to get shouted at by the construction guys, but they seem to be okay. I'll keep walking then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm asking him. So yeah, he says yeah. That's cool. Yeah, wow. Ah, okay. So you see there. <laughs> Claire, if it was a wee bit later in the day and if I'd had more coffee I might have a go, but uh, I think I'll give that a miss today. Oh, they're letting me just, oh yeah, no. he's coming towards me but I think I'm okay. Look at that. Huge. <laughs> I'd love to climb it. Thanks 
it's kind of the wrong way, although I'm sure people will be able to. Ooh, you can see inside. I think we're actually getting to go inside. As I said earlier at the start of this, this was a total surprise to get invited along today. I, like many people, were a bit disappointed not to get tickets and so when we did get the invite, when Creative Dundee got invited to come, we just kind of thought it was only fair to broadcast as much of this as we could um, so that everybody else could see it too. So just shout if there's anything anybody wants to know and I'll try and ask the team. So Peter from the V&A is here and the security guy. Will you be able to see the interior? That's a really good question. I will find out. Let me find the man. There he is. He's obviously quite busy today because lots of people are asking him questions, but I'll ask him in a minute. So I'm still just waiting to speak to Mr. Bam, Bam Construction rather. How are the panels hooked on? Okay, gosh, lots of great questions. Can I ask you a couple of questions? I've got, how are the panels hooked on? Uh, they're they're, they're hooked on with uh, these steel brackets. Right, okay. Um, which, uh, that, that, these two brackets, believe it or not, support the whole weight of the planks. Right. And will you be able to see inside the building from outside here? No, because no. okay. this will be the river. Of course, yeah. This is the river. <laughs> That's a good point. R right up to these planks will be the Great. river. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, uh, they're hooked on the panels with these steel parts. Oh, somebody's taking a photo and I don't want to get in their way. Um, which you can see there. I'll move up in just a second. But again, there's quite a big camera kit going around that looks... Yeah, there we go. So that's how the panels are hooked on. Will the bit be standing... that we're standing? Yes. Is it actually built in a way that floats on the water and works with the tides? I will think so, but I'll find out. So. You won't be able to see directly in because this will be the water, as was pointed out. Um, I don't think it actually floats, sorry, I do know that actually, because we were shown the walls in a presentation before we came out. So there's there's massive, in the coffer dam, there's massive walls that keep the... <laughs> I wish, Richard, I wish I could walk on water, but certainly not. <laughs> uh, so I think we're moving on. Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. Hi, Ian, by the way. <laughs> sorry, I'm doing somebody else's thing now. You tell me when to go. Go. Okay, again, so we're going around the V&A, Dundee, and this, um, obviously the stonework is starting to get put on the extre extremity, and it's looking really cool, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Two seconds. No, sorry, it's li I'm live streaming as well, so <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> sorry. So, oh, that was a bit. Uh, sorry. Okay, so. A metal dam, there we go. Filled with stone, a working platform. Great. Hi, Chris from the VA. How are you doing? Hello, I'm very well. How are good. you? Yeah, we're live online. Right. We've got lots of people asking lots of good questions. Um, Anything you'd like to add to this? I, I don't know, uh, what have people asking? Well, we've been asking lots about, could I walk in water? Right, <laughs> okay. You were in the river, so yeah. we have just come back online. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's worth me saying nice. something about where we are. I'm yeah, sure. please okay. do. So, at ground floor, it's two buildings. So the second floor, it connects up and becomes one building. Okay. And part one of the engineering challenges is that it's much smaller. So there's like two pyramids that are upside down okay. that connect. And this is the tunnel between the two. Great. So on one side we've got the main hall, on the other side we've got the galleries and everything else. Um, and this will have the same stone panels running all the way through. So will you be able to walk through that tunnel? Yep, absolutely. So um, there will be uh, water on either side. There'll be a walkway that goes through it and it will be lit up um, at night as well. Oh, brilliant. Wow. 
Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> this is great. Yep, yep, we're moving again. So yeah, you will be able to walk through here, it'll be lit up at night as Chris said. It'll be great. I feel like I'm at a theme park um, and uh, I think various people have laughed at me for this, but we had to go through a turnstile which I put a photo up of on Twitter uh, to get in. And it kind of felt like going into a theme park, although I was asked if I'd been to any theme parks before because of my analogy. Yeah, you can see the brackets there. What's the expected opening date again? Uh, we open next year. Next year? Yep. Good. So, look forward to that. In. Oh, hello, it's me with my high vis theme park like stuff you're going through the door into the new ride kind of so this bit then is just coming up to the front door oh great so we'll where will we enter from chris is it more kind of that direction like near yeah, to so on on the left hand side we'll just be coming around to this 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 great big lean uh, there's an opening just there okay that's the front door so it lines up to the city, up to Union Street, so you have this lovely line viewing down from the city all the way down into the front door. Wow. And where everyone's standing there, they're actually moving back out of that little pools of water. Okay. Yeah. You've got to be quite see from round here, right into the entrance there, and that will be the entrance street. So beyond that. So this is the entrance. And as Chris said, there'll be pools of water around about. It's really nice to see the position of Discovery next door um, from this angle. So you realise, you appreciate how close, but not too close it is. Oh, if anybody's not seen that video that's doing the rounds of sort of Star Wars mashup with V&A, then it's well worth checking out um, because yeah, it was good fun. I'm just going to walk back and then test the boundaries of how far they let me go without telling me off. Eh? I know, I'm right in the water. Yep. Um, yeah, so you just start to appreciate the scale of the building. Oh, it's massive. So I'm going to go back over and not get in the way of people's photos and try and take photos too. Which I'm not doing a very good job of. Quicker over. Thank you. 
crevasse indeed, Sandra. It's nuts. And lots of excited people and they've taken photos and videos. Sorry. Thanks. Move that way again. It's like he's creating a blue line that is. It's nuts. Sure, so I mean, the, you, mean, you see one of the really crazy things is how much the building leans out. So the, yeah. the footprint's there, and this space above here, so that's the auditorium in that corner, so for talks and lectures and design jams and whatever yeah. else. And then going down the right, there's then the design residency studio, uh, kitchens, which you can't quite see. And then that sort of gap there at the end yeah. is the restaurant. Oh. So um, you can just see if we step to the right slightly. Yeah. That's the beginning of the sort of vertical lines are where the glazing, so the glass will go on there. But then right in the corner, that'll be a terrace, so um, you'll be able to sit outside um, from the restaurant and the tables sort of within that um, corner bit. So that raised part that's halfway up, or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, the just uh, where the building it has a sort of a gap there. Yeah. Um, that's all the restaurant and the outdoor yeah. terrace. And then on the other side, there's another um, a terraced area that looks out over the river, that will lean okay. out over the river as oh, well. Brilliant. Wow. If anybody's got any questions, just keep asking and I'll ask Chris uh, from BA Museum of Design Dundee. Plans for the exterior landscape thing? Uh, so, we're actually standing in water. Okay. Um, so the building sits in pools of water, so you have this effect that when Discovery is refloated and the copper dam gets taken away and the river comes right back up, it will sort of blur what's land and what's sea. Okay. So um, we're, we're, in, we're in water and then there's uh, planting that sits around the building as well. So we're walking on water again just now. <laughs> so I think we're going inside. Exciting. Okay. So you can see there's the entrance in there. I don't think we're going in that way, but you can see it. Great. It's quite hard keeping up. I don't want to make anybody feel motion sick. <laughs> we're going too fast. Can we see a close up of the concrete cladding? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, and you can see where the brackets will be installed soon. Yeah. There's one of the brackets there. Okay. And I think it will be an incredible view. Um, absolutely. So again, here's the tunnel that we'll be able to walk through. It'll be lit up at night, which will be lovely. And you can see some of the panels that have been installed already towards the back there. Um, yeah, I've got to keep walking though. So it's like a fun fair ride, actually. Yeah, I'm just going really fast. <laughs> Yeah, that's where the meeting, uh, sorry, the uh, design uh, so the, Yeah, yeah, so there's an auditorium in that corner and then the, again, this is, this will all be glass here. This is okay. where the Millennium Falcon flew out of, but <laughs> rudely we've put in things to stop it flying out again. Um, <laughs> but that will be teaching areas um, okay. with a view back out of the city oh, great. and the Michelin Design Gallery. So that'll oh, be lovely. where we'll be yeah. on, uh, work from community projects great. as well. So this is, is this incredible sweeping 
and wool. Wow, look at that. Oh, sorry. Uh, and what materials are the brackets to support these panels? So metal. the yeah. So I, I don't know the exact type of metal, it's steel, but it's, it's I think quite I've possibly yeah. So uh, yeah. I think that's what we were told earlier that it was steel. Yeah, can you see that curve? I'm just going to try and catch up. That's what you're seeing. It's actually it's actually going. Aye, it's going. You weren't paying attention. We're going to hear about that. Yeah. This woman gave me close-ups of it. I know, I know. That's holding the planks. That's remember the brackets that you saw. The brackets get bolted into there. Yeah. So. So what we have had to do, there's, there's uh, two and a half thousand planks, two of them, there's five thousand of them, one of the Five thousand panels and planks. It's got to be in, exactly in the right place. When that racket comes along, we've got a problem. You know, if it's up there, we've, we've got a real problem. So. We have used 3D uh, modelling to actually figure out where every single one of these goes in the whole of the, the building. Wow. Oh, God forbid I would know. So, so yeah, nice to see everybody joining. Um, as you maybe heard earlier, we didn't get tickets either to this uh, to this day, but we were delighted to be invited along, which was wonderful. So we thought it was only fair to show off as much as possible the space. So that's why we're live streaming today. But yeah, that curved wall is just pretty incredible from over here. Wow. And as Chris said, the bit back there was where the Millennium Falcon flew out um, in the recent video that if you've not seen, it's really fun. Wow, look at this. Bit here. So we're going inside the building now. So this is the goods entrance. So Great. here you can you can reverse a an articled lorry in. And uh -huh. sort of walk in. And then right where we are now, you pull the shutters down. Okay. And then it's all controlled inside so you can unpack all the precious things going into the galleries. Great, so yeah, goods engines here. So we're underneath the galleries, the galleries are above our head. Okay. Fab. Wow. Thanks Chris. Cargo, I guess, will come into. Oh, gosh, I thought it was going to be an accident. Haven't done all our health and safety stuff. Stairs up. So, thanks very much for everybody sharing. It's great. Really appreciate it. Um, I think I'm totally going against the health and safety advice, which was take care of where you're going upstairs. But, um, yeah, absolutely lifts. Yeah, it's really accessible and absolutely. So you can tell what happened there. Um, we went through a very concrete area and I got chucked off, but hopefully back on. This is the main. So this is the Scottish Design Gallery. Oh, so yeah. this is the permanent bit. So actually, okay. we're kind of standing, pretty much standing where the oak room will be. Okay. Um, and then what you can see through. Oh, is that Macintosh's? Yeah. So that's room. that's the, the restored Charles Rennie Macintosh yeah. tea room. Okay. Um, 
And then what you're kind of looking through through there, we'll go through that way in a minute, yeah. is the temporary exhibition space. Okay. That's where the V&A shows and other shows will come. Right. <clears throat> I wonder if there's anything else I should look up before. Are we going that way? Yeah. We are, but if you have a look through there, you can see a view from what the terrace will look like. Ah, okay. So I'll go and check out, <laughs> check out what the terrace looks like. It's incredibly sunshiny today as well, which is great. Um, I'm just going to have to... Sorry, no, 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 you're fine, no, you're fine. No, fine. No, no, no. fine. Whoa, and not drop the phone again. Yikes. Look at that. So this is what the terrace will look like when you're having your drink or having a wee bite to eat out on the so, terrace. So this is the, uh, yeah, just the terrace to the right. Terrace to the right. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. So there is terrace. So that's, that's just a viewing point. <clears throat> the other one is, is part of the... Uh, that's just incredible. Okay. Amazing views indeed. So we'll come back in. It's just such a cracking day for it as well. Okay, let everybody else get in. And will this all be kept as open as it is now, Chris? Yeah, so <clears throat> this will all be open. Yeah, so the... Wow, look at all the lights. It's just, just going nuts. Ah, it's all right, Great. happy with that. Yes, yeah, so um, the, the plans for the Scottish Design Gallery is it is very open. I mean, the open room is a big thing, but you'll have to walk through all that. Yep. <clears throat> and then you can actually just sort through some of the scaffolding and see the view out to the well, can we go? Uh, I think we'll go that way in a minute without following ah, the route. Great. Yeah. So that's the auditorium, that corner, okay. right in so the back there. Up there is the auditori auditorium, great. So I think we're getting asked to walk. Yep. My big bits on. So this will be, this like a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Design lounge yeah. area, the information, oh, we'll be seating stuff in here. It's kind of like reception uh, space. Oh. And to the right. Is that, sorry, that'll be vin uh, a win? That's all glass. glass yeah, yeah, so yeah. All, all of that's glass. And that's the that's the Michelin Design Gallery space and the teaching rooms just be there. Oh, great. And that actually to the left there, so that's the way people will come up. So you can't quite see it because all the scaffolding. <clears throat> but the stairs and the will come all the way up there. And you can just sort of see a grey bit of framing, which is there's a, oh, yeah. uh, a glass lift. That's the grey. So right in the middle of the. So the glass lift will be right, in the right there. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, we we'll to move up, I think. Lots of comments saying gorgeous views, looking great so far. Yeah, it's brilliant. Just walking through now, so that that's the line that divides from the temporary exhibition space. Okay. So this is it. This so is where the. This is where, yeah, okay, get that. It's where all the big VA shows will come and from other museums and where we'll cur uh, curate our own exhibitions. Really? No, better go. <laughs> I was going to head over to the window, but right now. Yeah, you can see that window area. It's going to be lovely, actually. Oops. I think I might try and get over. No, I'm not getting to. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back down the stairs, I believe. And been told to watch where we're going. Wow. So that's the goods lift. Ah, so uh, okay. all the stuff that we're going to bring the open them up in, in large pieces and some other very large exhibits and things and touring shows, so it's big enough to take a van. Oh, great. Okay. A van? Oh. Yeah, you don't want to put too many vans up it. <laughs> and what will be upstairs then, Chris? Say again, sorry. Sorry, upstairs will be. So that was the upstairs, that was the second oh, floor. That, oh, right, so that is the top. That's the top, yeah. Perfect. 
Didn't you go up one floor? Did you only go up one floor there? There we go, sorry, back on. Again, just coming up the concrete stairs was, just chucked me off. Yeah. yeah, it's a good point, Craig. I'm not sure about which part of the Olympia this is, but um, I imagine it's all of it. So there was a good question from Sandra, um, and got chucked off as we went down the stairs. And I believe we were, we'd gone up. So there is, sorry, that's where all the design galleries are, but there's another floor in between. Yes, yeah, so there's, the, there's three floors, the ground floor and two above it. Uh, and on one side of the building, where we are actually, that's all back in the house. Okay. On the other side, there's a picnic room, there's family oh. areas. So people can come to the museum, they can bring their lunch without to spend any money at all. Um, Great. So it is literally the living room. Yeah, that's the yeah, idea. Yeah. Yep, that, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Again, there's that <laughs> lovely curve. So I think this is coming up to the end of the tour now, folks. Thanks very much. And as I said before, we were surprised to get an invite, surprised and delighted to get an invite to come along. Oh, yeah, so if you look down the, the concrete line, that's the pools of water. It's on the ground. Ah, I see, right. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, of course. Right, I get you. And the new boxes uh, with the uh, markings of the wood on uh -huh. floor, that's the light. So all the lighting around oh, the building. Oh, I see, right. Set in the oh. Chris, people love when you speak. <laughs> they really? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, more lighting. And. Sorry, will this still be water? No. Are we back? Uh, so that, that's the edge. Yeah, but so this is all oh, right. So this so is all water. There, all of that. Wow. All that concrete area. That's that all will be water. Oh great! Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can see through there. Sorry. Probably been a wee bit making everybody a wee bit sick by turning too quickly. I'm kind of getting hurried along. And here's more theme park type stuff. Um, oh, everybody's waiting for me to get out of the way. Oops. All the professional photographers with their massive kit, kit of equipment. Oh, and here's the sun. Beautiful. On cue. Oh, sunshine city. It's lovely, isn't it? sure whether to do this or not so I'm really glad that you found it useful um, as I know myself I was a bit gutted not to be coming so yeah oh great thanks everybody so I think we're coming off site I'm sure there'll be lots of amazing photos some great photographers here as well today Shape shifting, it just changes shape every direction you go. And I'm sorry that the first five or ten minutes are all the wrong way around. Thanks very much again for correcting that. What's the red banner? <laughs> all harm is preventable. Yep, safety first. Oh, thanks Colin. Great. Glad everybody could tune in so early as well. Oh, good stuff, Jan. Um, oh, it looks great. It's really made me even more excited about the opening next year, I have to say. It's incredible. Oh, that's a good demo. That big old crane of ours. Seems to be on our horizon all the time. Uh, <laughs> walking too far. So again, I'm not sure where the water. I think the water, where the red van is. I think the water kind of stops about there. That's around the building. You can see the train station in the background there. And again, the sun just coming out. Okay, that's probably 
a good time to, to leave it. Um, 